little children, we have learned that Moses and the Israelite pleased God by obeying him and making the tabernacle exactly as God told them. The tabernacle was a very special tent where God would dwell. It was where God met his people and where the Israelite worshipped while they travelled through the desert for 40 years. As they entered the tabernacle, the children of Israel passed through seven stations to God's presence. Let's do the action together. Station 1, the outer court, which speaks of thanksgiving and praise. Station 2, the bronze altar speaks of the cross of Jesus. And Station 3, the laver speaks of cleansing. And Station 4, the golden lampstand speaks of the Holy Spirit. Station 5, the table of showbread speaks of the word of God. And Station 6, the altar of incense speaks of worship and prayer. And Station 7, the Ark of the Covenant speaks of intercession and intimacy. We have covered the outer court, now let's step into the holy place. Boys and girls, we are going to learn about Station 4, the Golden Land Stamp, and it represents the Holy Spirit. So now, we have entered the holy place where the priest ministered daily. It contained the Golden Land Stamp, the Table of Showbread, and the Altar of Incense. So today, we are talking about the Golden Land Stamp. The Golden Land Stamp was to be tended by Aaron and his sons and so that its fire would never go out. The land stamp provided light day and night in the holy place. And the golden land stamp represents the Holy Spirit, like the fire that never went out. Every day, we must invite the presence of the Holy Spirit into our lives. So, who is the Holy Spirit? God exists as three persons in one being, the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is God. He is perfect. He is real and He is alive. We cannot see Him, but we can see the effects of what He does. Just like the wind, we cannot see it, but we know that the wind is there. And we can feel it as well. So boys and girls, in the same way, we cannot see the Holy Spirit, but we know that He is here with us. So after Jesus rose from the dead, he returned to heaven and God the Father sent the Holy Spirit on earth to remind us of all the things that Jesus taught and to teach us many other things. In our Bible memory verse, Jesus said, Then I will ask the Father to send you the Holy Spirit who will help you and always be with you. Taken from John 14 verse 16. The Holy Spirit is God's gift to us. And He is our helper and comforter. He prays for us, He protects us, and He gives us peace. When we invite Jesus Christ into our lives to be our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of us. He is God's gift to us. So boys and girls, let us remember Station 4, the Golden Land Stamp, which represents the Holy Spirit. Amen. Station 4, the Golden Land Stamp speaks of the Holy Spirit. Well, how do we know that the Holy Spirit lives in us? When we invite Jesus Christ into our life to be our Lord and Saviour, we become born again believers and the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of us. This is known as the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. More than living inside of us, God promised His believers the outpouring of His Spirit upon us to fill us. This is known as the infilling of the Holy Spirit or the baptism in the Holy Spirit. The infilling of the Holy Spirit in our life empower and equip us to serve God effectively. Let's take a look at an example from the Bible in Acts chapter 1 and 2. Before Jesus was taken up to heaven, He instructed the disciple to wait in Jerusalem for the promise of the Father. Jesus said to them, hmm. You shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. You shall receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem, in Judea and in Samaria and to the ends of the earth. 
when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of the violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house while they were all sitting. They saw what seems to be the tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit, began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. And the infilling of the Holy Spirit in our life also enable us to speak in new tongues. When we see this thing happening, that proves that the Holy Spirit has come upon us. Children, Station 4, the Golden Lamp Stand. It's a very important station. It speaks of the Holy Spirit. And just as how the Golden Lamp Stand gives light, the Holy Spirit gives light and understanding to us in every situation that we meet. The Holy Spirit is God's wonderful gift to us. How many of you want to receive more of the Holy Spirit? The Bible memory verse from this week, taken from John chapter 14, verse 16, tells us, Jesus said, And I will ask the Father to send you the Holy Spirit, who will help you and always be with you. The Holy Spirit is always here with us. And He longs to fill us to overflow. The Bible says when you thirst and hunger for more of Him, He will satisfy you. If you want more of the Holy Spirit, I would like you to open up your hearts to Him because we are going to pray. We are going to pray for the Holy Spirit to come and fill us. Wherever you are, close your eyes, lift up your hands, and open your hearts to receive. Say this prayer together with me. Dear Holy Spirit, I thank you that you dwell in me the moment I'm born again in Christ Jesus. I ask for so much more of you. You are God's wonderful gift to me. Come and fill me to overflow. I ask for you to fill me every single day empower equip me and anoint me with new tongues i thank you that you are always with me holy spirit and i pray all this in jesus name and all god's wonderful children say amen and boys and girls i encourage you to pray in the holy spirit to communicate with Him and to know Him more every day. Thank you for watching Harvest Kids Online. Today, we learned Station 4, the Golden Land Stamp, which represents the Holy Spirit. We also learned today the infilling of the Holy Spirit empowers and equips us to serve God effectively. So remember the three challenges. Number one, memorize the seven actions for the stations. And number two, Pray 10 minutes daily. Number three, complete and submit the weekly quiz. Do remember to follow, like, share, and subscribe to Harvest Kids YouTube channel, Instagram, and Facebook. See you again next week, same time. Bye!